Is it true? O many chaku mimi kuna fununu una muayule ah let me play the guitar to banjuke to zunguke mita to walike harusi tafana wabambike wale Hi what's up people this easy girl um behind the lyrics African love <laughs> One thing that most people don't know about African Lava is a song which is almost a million views <laughs> on YouTube is um, African Lava was my hardest song to write actually. I wrote this song for days. It wasn't just working. I remember th I, I was working with this producer from Kisumu who sent me a bit. It's like, yo, try freestyle on this bit. So um, I tried to, to freestyle on the beat. The, the arrangement of the beat was so long that be, between the, the first verse to the bridge I have like 16 bars actually. When I went to Cook Studio and we were performing this song with Jukes and it was like, yeah, you wrote 16 bars before, <laughs> before the bridge, yeah? So it was one of my hardest songs to write, yeah? Like, I know I'm a songwriter, <laughs> but it was, I was just trying to make this like one of the most legit poetic songs but the idea behind african lava is something so sweet something so amazing <laughs> it's actually a crush i used to have a real life story by the way i'm not faking anything i used to have a crush on this guy <laughs> and um i don't know i just used to see him my heart melts um and i just wrote the story just on based on perception or imagination like when I was writing this I was like imagine this guy gives me a chance okay not gives me a chance <laughs> I'm looking like I'm the one who's gonna hit on him imagine this guy dates me how is this relationship gonna be so that's how I actually wrote the song um, so I felt like um, is it true so when I was writing that first four bars, I was just thinking maybe this guy has a girlfriend and I'm here dying over him. But then I'm telling him, is it true you have a girlfriend? What if I am the one who's your main baby? <laughs> we're gonna get married, we're gonna have a good time, we're going to tell everyone, yeah, we are dating. So yeah, the idea um, was easy, but actually writing the song was one of the toughest things to do. But if you listen to the song from top to the, from top to down, or from top to bottom, whatever, it was where it, 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 it feels like a fairy tale. It feels like it's a story I'm trying to write about a guy I don't really have. It's so good to love like my own day. Precious baby, you second day. Forever love me, you can do. Change in a jupia, you can do. It's the one kind of skill you possess. Rowing a kuma, Johnny Kuposet. To spend a new gender, you pay a thousand. Hey! Yes! So, um, when I was writing that part, this bars, I was just trying to figure myself like, I'm an artist. Let's let this relationship not be scandalous. As I said before, it was more of a fairy tale. And I, was, I, have, I, I didn't even used to speak to this guy. I'm just imagining what if me and you actually had a chance? So I'm just trying to tell him let it not be scandalous. Let it be Romeo and Juliet. What Shakespeare used to write about. Let it be the love that everyone desires. <laughs> yes, so. Um, it was one of the sweetest songs to write, but the hardest to write, as I said before. To vume kaju na Vanessa, when you meet ya together, to Natessa, to five us in the Kusema. Let me love you the African way. Let me love you like an African lady. Nikwite baba, unanita mama. Nikwite baba, unanita mama. The African way. We, nikwite baba, unanita mama. Nikwite baba, unanita mama. Yo, as I said before, yeah. When I'm writing my songs, I always focus on the chorus. The chorus has to be very catchy. The chorus has to be very 
what do we call it, has to be something that people, when they go home, they come to show and probably they've heard it for the first time. They can remember, because when I'm, I'm trying to make an, a performance track for show, um, I make sure the DJ turn up put the papa and mama because they're the most rememberable if there's english like that rememberable um lines or, or other words in the song so i try to make my my music very as i said before <laughs> very repetitive and very not forget forgetful like something you can easily remember because it's repetitive of course <laughs> well um so as i had to for my kajuks and vanessa i was just trying to take some of my favorite couple i'm gonna imagining me me uh, i'm to imagine me and that guy yeah just to be all romeo da all julia da all shakespeare da all head okay i think too much tmr <laughs> anyway yes uh but yeah um right now just disclaimer we're not even friends with the guy we actually don't like each other. <laughs> we got to know each other and crashed with each other. <laughs> no. I just wrote it for someone that I really used to like, and it was one. It's one of my biggest songs. The song with the most views on YouTube, the most loved songs. Even when I go to perform, and yeah, dear Mr. X, <laughs> thank you for giving me an inspiration. Yeah. So um, one of the tactics or rather the main thing I considered when I was writing African Lover, as I said, it was a fairy tale um, and it was it was poetry. If you listen to the song from A to Z, it's a very poetic song. I really like to write my words for easy remembrance and easy sing along by the fans and people who love the song. The song is really repetitive and um, yeah, the producer who did the song was Ihaji. Um, shout out to Ihaji by the way. He's, He's a dope producer. Cause how I'd come with it to the studio is very different. <laughs> how it originally sounded and how it sounds now, it was, it's really different. The video was shot in Westlands, Fenethi Gardens, by Nizo Mons. Shout out to Nizo Mons, by the way. And yeah, and um, my previous management, Hillmind Entertainment, and it was. It, it's just one of the most amazing, amazing songs. Uh, yeah, as I said before, just to any other person who mostly asks about my songwriting, uh, how I write my songs, one of the f I, I, I use different styles in, in different songs. For for African Lover, it was poetic, I'm gonna repeat again, it was poetic, rhyming, and uh, rep repetition, or rather it was repetitive at the chorus, so that it it captures the, the the audience or the fans that they can easily remember the song. I'm forever grateful for the song. It was real life inspired. Every lyric I wrote about African Lover, I meant it and I'm glad I did. And it's one song that really got me to be the big break act on Cox Studio 2019. Um, I didn't, actually one thing that most people don't know is that I didn't know this song was gonna be that well received. Um, I didn't, of course, when I was shooting the videos, I had a million problems. <laughs> we really suffered with locations. It was raining. The person, the person who was supposed to style us, switched off their phones. So it was. We at first we didn't have funds for the video. It was a real, real hassle. But I thank God that behind all that struggle, it became to, to become. It became <laughs> one of the biggest songs I have under my belt. And I'm grateful to my fans for appreciating my poetic work, appreciating my lyrics, ap appreciating my songwriting, and it's something that I don't take for granted.